everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will dive into um, how to edit videos in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Final Cut. And I already dragged in or imported a video of me. And so basically your video um, importing button is right here. So if you click this arrow, it will bring you to your taking a while. It'll bring you to your desktop, pretty much all your files and everything. So you can go ahead and pick your video from there. And then you would hit this button over here, everyone, that says import. Well, don't hit import all, but let's say if I was to choose this, you could import selected. And then you would, your video would end up over here in this area. Yeah, so your video would end up in this area over here, and it goes by date, so that's how you'll find it. It will be the most recent, would be right here. And your, save, your saved uh, projects and uh, videos are right here, so you can name them and all of that. So, all right. So, let's just say I dragged this in, this video, and I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it. Okay, so there's the video right there. And if you click over here, everyone, here is where your video effects are. So you can change, you've got to highlight your video first. You can change things if you didn't like the color or I mean, if you wanted to add a certain effect that can kind of change the color, you can do that. Yeah, so you can change the effects of the video on the side over here. There's, you can go all, you can do basics, which has like a crisp contrast and hard light and all of that. So it just depends what type of video you're doing, what type of look you want. And then over here is where you would get your music. So you can import music and also Final Cut has music for you. It's not much of a variety, but... They do have a lot of sound effects and everything that you can use for your video, which is awesome. You can also buy plugins, which are packages that also have new um, video effects, new sound effects, new songs and whatnot. I think they run for $30, but uh, we'll get into another video about that. So let's go ahead and let's see what music I can choose. I usually just go for this. Sorry, that's kind of loud. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to bring this music in. And you can change the volume right here. So obviously you don't, you don't want it too loud because you want to be able to hear yourself. So. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm doing a random video. Um, I just don't like it when uh, you have a video and you have dead space. So all you hear is the air if you're not talking. <laughs> so I definitely do like behind, um, like a behind music playing, just just to fill in that dead space or dead talk when you, when you aren't saying anything. And I just think it adds a little something to the video. Okay, so since we got music, after that, there are transitions. So here are all the transitions. You can blur, dissolve, lights, movements, objects, um, replicator, clones, stylized, wipes. So there's a lot of things you guys can do. And um, yeah, I know this is going to be a hard video to um, go through. I think I'm going to do this in a three-part series for uh, how to edit videos in Final Cut because it's not... It's not easy to just get it done in one video. So I, in this video, I'm going to go through all the buttons and um, little details here and there. And then the next video, we will actually cut and edit some of the video. And uh, the third video, we'll actually throw in the styles, throw in the um, extra pictures, like stuff like this, extra sound effects and all of that. So I think that's how we will do this. So after that, you have the text over here, everyone. 
And yeah, there's a lot of stuff you could choose from over here too. While you scroll over it, it shows you what it does. So that's what's neat with Final Cut. But yeah, so that there has they have a lot of that stuff. And then here they have the backgrounds and stuff if you wanted to have it on your background and all of that. So just little things also in that section. Then you have a text and transition. So this is another thing. So you have transitions and you can put text over it. There's a lot of things you could do, guys. This is also a place where you can do your outro because you can have them pick a bit, you know, click a video and um, yeah, to go to your next video or whatnot. So that's a neat thing. Sorry, Target is emailing me. And uh, over here, that's just if you want to hide your hide this or not. Also over here is a sh the show color board. Okay, I didn't select anything, but it brings up this color board here. So if you wanted to change color inside your video, this is where you would do it. Like if you wanted it, you know, a different color, if you want, that is such a weird uh, place to stop the video. What kind of face is that? Anyway, but um, yeah, but you get what I'm saying. So you could change things in this area. And, uh, yeah. And then you have saturation, you have exposure, if you wanted to make it brighter. And all of that good stuff. But I usually stick with global, but, I mean, I have messed with shadows, mid-tones, and highlights, too, on certain videos. But um, it's all up to you. And let's see. Over here, you could slow your video to 50%, 25%, or 10%. You can make it go fast from two times all the way to 20 times, which, wow, 20 times is pretty fast. I don't even think you'll be able to see anything. So I don't think many people use that, but uh, who knows? Then you can go back to normal. You can also reverse a clip. So we'll get into that in the next video. So I'll show you how to reverse and how to reset speed and all of that good stuff. You can also instant replay. They have instant replay and rewind and jump cut at markers. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of things to learn and I don't want to just throw everything at you because that's when you guys will get discouraged. So let's just take it slowly and uh, yeah. So in the next video, we'll go through an actual cutting and editing the actual video. But for now, show you a couple more things so over here you have file where you can get you can make a new project that's what really I use also here you can if you like to start in photo in, in your video you can hit this part right here it says share and you save current frame so you can save whatever frame you want so it can be a JPEG um, all here are keyframes and stuff like that. Uh, we'll get into that also. Trimming, mark, clip, modify. If you wanted to modify, adjust volume. I mean, it, you can do so many things, guys. But like I said, I don't want to throw too much at you. But, you know, if you're in Final Cut right now, go ahead and just um, explore, guys. I mean, you really can explore every button. That's kind of how I learned it. Uh, I was in Final Cut Pro, my goodness, a long time ago, in 2002, so I don't even know what version that was, but I mean, I think this is 10.2 now, so yeah, that was a while ago, not sure what they have, but yeah, so all your videos and everything are housed over here, guys, and then all your finished products or projects that you're working on are right here, so you can see we have a couple of them. We do edit, I do edit uh, two channels, sometimes three channels, but um, yeah. Well, actually I edit three channels, sometimes four channels, I'm sorry. And uh, those links are in the description, so go ahead and check those out. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I just want you guys to explore the buttons, get to learn them, and um in the next video, we'll go ahead and I'll have you drag in a video and we can edit it together and that should be a fun video. 
So thanks for watching. Please come back to my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys for all the support and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Seventeen thirty eight.